Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to Black Mesa, a full remake of the original Half-Life done on the Source engine. I had heard about this game, and I was really looking forward to playing it. It dropped on Steam this week in early access, and I got visited by the Game Fairy, and a friend of mine actually got this for me as a gift, so thank you very much, Pleb. And we are going to go ahead and just give this a shot. I'm really looking forward to this because I haven't played the original Half-Life in a long, long, long time. I remember a few things, but apparently they've added some more content, and I'm looking forward to experiencing it. So let's do a new game. I played through a little bit of it just to see how it recorded, and it came out fine. Stage 2 emitters activated. And I'll tell you what, I know how good this is just from the tram ride. The tram ride is worth it just to see, especially on the Source engine. Oh, I'm still getting goosebumps looking at that. And we got that awesome background music. Now check this out, we actually get to see the dormitories where the scientists and personnel actually crash out at. Black Mesa Research Facility, Black Mesa, New Mexico. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Morning! It's even the scientists wave at you. ...provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. And there's Barney. The time is... Hey, Barney. 47. You've got an adventure ahead of you. And so do I. Current topside temperature is... 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. That's New Mexico for Black you. Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Just look at the detail compared to the original Half-Life. Now obviously this uh, <laughs> graphics engine is a lot better, but oh, it's like seeing an old friend, including the loading times. Because it will stop for loading times every so often, just like the original Half-Life. And remember, this is an early access, so we just have to bear with it and stay the course. There we go. And this was one of those really interesting scenes in computer gaming when you actually saw how expansive and how huge this facility was, and all the areas that you were eventually going to have to go back to. Two, Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security How's it going? area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in Area 9. Yeah, that's not disconcerting at all. But that is New Mexico, the birthplace of the nuclear bomb. Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. And I think they also redubbed voices as well, so it's not just the same voices over and over again. That right there took my breath away. Look at that. Now, from this terrain, I can tell you that is probably uh, western, northwest, or northern New Mexico. Because southeast New Mexico and basically east New Mexico is all flat. Beautiful. They did such a good job with this. And you're going to hear me say that a lot, probably ad nauseum. But it doesn't make it any less true. Got some cactus and some crows. A sign of things to come. the train at all times. Now this reminds me a little bit of Red Faction. ...until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is oh, there's the copter. to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. You know the scary thing about this is I can almost guarantee you facilities like this actually do exist. And in New Mexico too. 
I had a family member who worked for a facility that the stories that she tell me, it, I would not even be surprised if there was a Black Mesa or some similar facility out there in the desert somewhere. Security guards just going about their business. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And giving me the salute. It's those little touches that I really like. Is the door gonna... Yep, so it is. I think we're gonna get into another loading screen here. In the event of fire, use hammer to break glass. BMRF Transit Authority Sector C line. I would really like if they had some sort of reference to Aperture Science. I'm sure they there they're probably will be, maybe as an Easter egg here in the game a little bit later. Because that is in the same world. Priority seating for people who are disabled, pregnant, or less able to stand. Oh, cool. Even got the little Black Mesa sea covers. That the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. I hate the term associate when it comes to uh, places working. Wow. Messing with dangerous stuff, my friends. Level 3 clearance. Or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Me. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. I could be a Barney. Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or oh, there's the walker. Disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. I'm sure we won't see you again. Heavens no. That this music is amazing too. Now what does that say? Can we actually... Oh, we can't pick that up. Can we crouch? Inbound times. Tram... Moore's new... Huh. Couldn't really read that. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. Those P tests are important. Been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duty. There you are. Contact your radiation safety officer immediately. I see you. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Uh-huh. I would really like to see a short story about the the scientist in the tram with him. With the infamous G-Man. Oh, there's a spill. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Hey, boss. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and I have a very safe and productive day. Don't have a crowbar here. And we are about to get on with it, guys. And this is about where I stopped, so... Just wanted to make... If the tram ride went well, I think the rest of the game would run well. And it's thinking. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Morning. Looks like you're running late. What else is new? And you can even hear your feet on the... You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Yeah, well, he's... Bar tab must have finally caught up with yeah, the bar ta tab's going to be the least of his worries here in a few hours. Mm. 
No eye scan. E to talk with personnel. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Oh, fair enough. Hi. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. I had a ponytail? I didn't know Gordon had a ponytail. I feel bad now. I'd never cut mine, but I don't wear my hair in a ponytail. Hey, Mr. Freeman. Hi. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. Windows 95, We're man. We're also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Cool. Can we, can, can we talk to you guys now? Gordo, you're on Sundial and we need you on stopwatch. Hop to it. <laughs> Sergeant Jarreau, report to topside motor pool. We've got security cameras. I'm going to be doing a lot of looking around, so just bear with me, guys. There's the blue screen of death. That's not a good sign. Can this wait? Sure. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Oh, sorry. That's cool. Looks like all kinds of new stuff's been added. Doctor. 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 We can't talk. Can we go in here? You think there's going to be an accident <laughs> later? I'm going to see what I can all mess up now. Good morning, Doctor Freeman. Morning. Please excuse me, Gordon. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans. Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Oh, you can't go to a, your con. Drat. Drat indeed. I'm sorry, boss. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Hmm. I do. Where am I going? Research. Oh. Hello there, G-Man. Oh, I wish I could hear what they're saying. I should have had closed captions on. It's probably muffled on purpose, though. And they're just going to keep on chatting, I would imagine. Wow, this is just so much new stuff. Sector B coolant reserve. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Okay, so we have to come back here for this. Oh, everything's all nice, bright, and shiny. We can talk later, Gordon. Look at that old computer. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Looks simple enough. <laughs> now, this is the source engine. Oh, we can move stuff. Awesome. Everyone's busy out there. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. Everyone busy at their cubicles. Oh! Apparently the meeting is now hush-hush. So let's head back here. This poor guy can't go to his con anymore. Research... Facilities, we need to go to facilities. So I guess we go this way. You're living in the past. That experiment is single handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You I beg your pardon? I'm inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published. 
and to say nothing of the modern perspective. I wonder if they give like more and more details as to I mean, why the accident happened in the first place. I recreated. Bah. I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Bah. Don't mind him. But here's something to think about for the next time. You're fired. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Huh. Okay, well, we got some more calculations here. I want that whiteboard with the black mesa in the background. Dr. Nielsen, reports. Superconducting. Interchange. Try turning it off and on again? Well, Make haste, even. man. It's They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. Well, they can wait a little bit longer. I'm looking at things. Hello, Dr. Cross. Uh, not Dr. Cross. Gordon, this had better be important. Mm -hmm. I, I was, you know how long I'd been sitting there waiting for Dr. Cross? To do that awesome little intro and you ruined it? Way to go, Gordon. Well... I guess we have to go get our suit. You aren't going soft Morning, champ. Issue Hello. Hello, guys. Another day, another dollar. I trust this morning find you well. Yeah, I didn't mean to throw that can at you. Ramblers, bro, Yankee fries, peppers. So good. And we got maps, airport maps. I wish they'd show, like, a full map of the facility. That would be awesome. And... Okay, I can't get, go through there. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I remember you. Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. Yep, I actually think Gordon's wearing something very similar. Can we... See what we can do. Can I look in a mirror? Rat. No toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Toilet paper. Pick uh, up hello? objects. Hello. Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, there we go. Enter to throw. Excuse me. Oh. Minor emergency. <laughs> okay, I'm trying. There we go. I got it. Uh, don't panic, Harold. Don't panic. Yeah, don't panic. Just focus. Focus on what needs to be done. Uh, hello? Hello? Loose! Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Now, I wonder if I can still check my locker. Free oh, there's Freeman right there. Oh, we got all kinds of nifty stuff in here. Got... I don't know what that is. Coffee mug. Picture of a baby. Massachusetts in Institute of Technology. MIT grad. And I don't know what that is. I think we have to come back here once we get the suit on. Can we? Can't go in anyone else's. And there we go. Time to look stylish. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. You better not be like GLaDOS when she was a baby. Wow. I've got goosebumps again, guys. I am so excited about this. Now, we can use the HEV, which is essentially your armor. Now let's go and use that thing in the locker and see what that was. Is that just a lantern though? There we go. 30%. Did 
That pumped up our armor a little bit more. Communications. Exchanging ideas is a two-way process. Well, let's head back here now that we have the containment suit. Yeah, do not count on it. And here's research personnel Doctor, development. Doctor, I think this might be the right way. Because I want to... Okay, that's the... That is not the right way. And we went that way. That is to... Research. So, nowhere to go but this direction. My horoscope said for me to take the day off. Good call. Very good call. Hi. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. I doubt that. Oh, they're not going to let us in. Okay. Oh, the, look, there's the crystals on the whiteboard. Trying to get all the details before things go south. Spoilers. Risk Come management right levels. Through, there's the eye scanner. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Indeed. Now then. Greetings. Hi. Work as a team. Innovation. I like those. I've never seen ads like that before. Oh no, yes I have. I saw it in uh, at an airport in Dallas, I think. Scenic Black Mesa Desert. Can't go through there. More research. <laughs> science! It's all about the science. And... And there's the ladder. Just a normal day at the office. What could possibly go wrong? Entrez vous. Man, I, I cannot give enough props to the people who've been working on this. And it's still an early access. They're still adding stuff to the game and fixing things. I mean, the loading screen, I don't really... I'm not that worried about. I, I, I play PlayStation. I am very aware of loading screens. And having to be patient during them. PlayStation One. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hi guys. Oh, they're all busy. They don't want to talk to me at all. Wow. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plates angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. <laughs> Increase the flash Gordon noise and throw more science no stuff curious. around. The acousto optic modulator. What's up, Doc? Again. Not I'm much. Looking forward to this analysis, aren't you? Hello, there Dr. was Steven. someone downstairs Hi. asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Oh, I'm pretty sure it was upstairs. He's a bit creepy and wears a suit. Hello, old chum. Hello. And now to the control room. Ah, Gordon. There you are. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Finally join us, doctor. Uh -huh. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Mm -hmm. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk oh. you down. Nice mug. I'm going to take the mug with me. Just have a nice cup of joe before everything goes to hell. Last minute preparations for the new experiment. Uh-huh. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. Morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Ooh. Oh, it's about to go critical. That's not good. 
It's nice to see a black what guy here in the facility, though. Going on with our equipment? Huh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Huh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Uh huh. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Sure. Oh, the mug. I must take the mug with me everywhere. Come here, little Half-Life mug. We're gonna be we're gonna be friends. Could take a bit longer than I anticipated. Just long enough to make it to the scene of the crash. By Beckrell's ghost, the radiation level is off the charts. Well, that's comforting. Right before I head into the facility. This is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal. I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Oh, Walk I tried to throw the mug in his... Button. Oh, is it coming back to me? Now, it's a boomerang mug. I don't know how much longer I can abide these oh. perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Oh, I don't think I can get you pick it up anymore. Do with free time if you even had any. Oh, goodbye, mug. Looks like everything is not blowing up. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Mm-hmm. Thanks, amigo. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't Huzzah! Know how you can say that? Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't. Feel Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. Nope. He's a highly trained professional. Indeed. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. <laughs> everything yes, will be fine. You're right, Gordon. We have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Did you guys plan on wearing the exact same clothes today, or was it just one of those lovely little accidents that you could Instagram about later? Ooh. Oh, dear. Alright. Goodbye there, travelers. Oh, was that the coffee mug? No. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> oh, you're up there. Everything seems to be in order. Uh-huh. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. That's nice. You actually have to press uh, action to use a ladder. I actually find that to be cool. Oh, we get to see a security cam footage inside the control room. No, there's nothing good here. I'm gonna check and see what's in the control room here. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Now, where's the sample at? Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Or how long the reading will take. Uh, please work as quickly as you can. Gotcha, boss. Overhead capacitors to 105 percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. No. Are showing a small discrepancy in. Well, no. It's well within acceptable bounds. Sustaining sequence. Yeah, it's not like it's going to cause a cataclysm and change the entire Just fabric of the world. Uh-huh. 
I'm looking. I remember this. Now, let's go ahead and change the fate of the planet, shall we? Do 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 do. Uh huh. Science is bad, people. Death via special beam cannon. And... Ooh, fire. Not good. And let's just make a break for the door. And here's where we get a vision of things to come, if I recall correctly. Oh, no, we didn't. There it is. Oh, they're talking now. Nice. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and we'll continue on in the next episode. If you liked it, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.